Okay. The next is 1.27 in the morning, this morning, May 19th. Sense of words suspended in air, linked to U.S. government. Name, Cecily Strong. Strong, linked with, I'm not sure if this says luck, I'm not sure. And red, question mark. Image, it's this text. I say, it's black and red. No, it's black and white. Um, something to, relating to, I write here Kevin Isaac's video. Um, this is interesting because what happened at the end here is I remember that it was a name and then another name layered itself over the top of it. So that was really interesting because it starts out with words suspended in air. Like you can see the words suspended in the air. Linked to the U.S. government. Um, Cecily Strong, Strong linked with something in red. It, oh, this might be black and red or it could be black, but I'm not sure image it's this text I say it's black and red no it's black and white because this is because I had said earlier that um, I thought that the um, United Fruit Company logo was gold and blue and then I looked up to check later and saw it was actually gold and red um, kind of reminds me of that whole thing with the dress where they were asking what color it was Okay, and then relating to, I write Kevin Isaac's video, but I realize that's not right. It was, what I was going to say was Kevin, what is his last name? It was the video called I Will Not Break. Because I feel like what I did was I mixed it up with Chris Isaac. So I wanted to say this person's name, Kevin. Um, and now I'm hitting a blank on his last name. And then over the top of it was layered Chris Isaac. And um, I had just found out that um, the guitar player for Chris Isaac named... I'm getting these names mixed up because a lot of these people I've just found out about um, had died of a heart attack, you know, played on the album Heart Shaped World. 61 years old, drops dead of a heart attack. He's got a 15-year-old son he's trying to support. Um, that's very sad. Okay, so, and I think it was probably an assassination because so many of these guys are dropping dead, these people linked with the old San Francisco punk scene. Um, and Roz has heart problems too, by the way, and so I'm worried about that. Um... So it makes me think that I should look a little bit more at Cecily Strong and see why she appeared in the dream and um, see what possible link there is between this person, Kevin, and Chris Isaac. And when I just see the name Kevin, too, without any last part to it, it reminds me that I had a neighbor named Kevin. He was uh, close to my brother's age. Kid I used to babysit. 2.57 a.m. I write a weird jungle gym. The word jungle gym came to me, but it was actually a swing set. I have a feeling the reason the word jungle gym came to me is because of the word jungle and things like um, the song Welcome to the Jungle, because the song Welcome to the Jungle, I believe, is related to this. Um, it's actually a swing set where children swing in concentric diamond-shaped swings. And I didn't really draw this very well, because in this it looks like the child's totally encased in the diamond. But in the dream, it was like the child would sit in the diamond and hold on to the sides. And it was two concentric um, diamonds, and they were made out of metal pipes. I remember that. So it was like a metal pipe swing set where they sit in diamonds. Two concentric diamonds, right on the metal bars. And then, after I write that down, I close my eyes again, and, and I see this image. The concentric diamonds are actually linked to the trap image. So, in other words, what they're saying is this is a trap. Name, Medellin. 
that comes into my head at the end. So concentric diamonds, swing set, jungle gym, it's a trap, Medellin, suddenly my breathing is affected. I think what they're trying to do here is explain to me what's going on and why people are trapped and why people are behaving the way they are because I got pretty angry about it um, and that, you know, it's this idea that um, they're trapped. So the architects of this have figured out how to do it in such a way they think that everybody's going to feel trapped and nobody's going to ever want to um, step out of the trap. They're going to be afraid to step out of the trap. and um, do their jobs, basically. So they're just gonna stay in the trap. That's what, they, that's what they're hoping is gonna happen. That's what cannot happen. So it might be unfair to ask people, for example, my daughter's cousins, to be the first ones to step out of the trap, which is why I'm asking law enforcement, specifically the FBI, to be the first ones to step out, not the first ones, but definitely step out of that trap. So then I say, oh, okay, so here we go. U.S. government officials also in this trap, okay? But if you're in the U.S. government, you actually have a duty to get out of that trap because that trap is, um, you know, America is in that trap. So, I mean, and so does the average citizen. The average citizen also has a duty. Some people have more courage than others. Um, however, the more people that have this courage, the better off everybody's going to be. And um, it's one of those things, if you all rush the state, you know, if you all rush at once, they can't hit as many of you. If you all stand still and wait for the Grim Reaper to walk by, he can get more of you. But if nothing else, you know, it's, you know, it, it is the job of, of certain offices. It is the job of the FBI to take care of this problem. image of my mom's Janice pants designs with a baby bottle in the center is the gear-like motifs. So I call these gear-like motifs and I didn't draw them very well, but they are kind of like gears. I don't remember. They were actually sort of like flowers, stylized flowers, but they were with the small pointy points like a 1960s psychedelic design. And so in this, there's a baby bottle inside of it, maybe describing how young my mom was. So my mom would have gotten pregnant in 1967 with me. My mom was born in 1945, so she would have been 22 when she got pregnant, right? 55. Wait, she was born... For, yeah, so she would have been 22, probably. And um, she had been married since she was 19. So when I was born, she had just turned 23, I guess. 24. Um, 6 25 a.m. I see a man with curly hair, beard, glasses, maybe a tunic, passing a stack of money, passing a stack of money to his right and back. Right arm stretched out. He's looking forward the whole time. So he's like, you know how people do it when they're trying to pass something back and be cool about it so people don't see. They think people don't see, so they don't even look at their, what they're doing. Um, so I say he kind of looks like a combo of Jerry Garcia and Steve Turner, Jerry Rubin, and maybe my dad a little. Although I didn't really have the sense of my dad. Although this description technically kind of fits my dad. But he looked more like... Jerry Garcia, Steve Turner, or Jerry Rubin. So interesting, huh? That might give a little idea about what's actually going on with the Grateful Dead, because there's definitely, Grateful Dead definitely had a specific place that was unlike the place of other bands. <laughs> 